In this lecture, we are going to learn more about the features of edit texts. What we want to do is to add the required fields feature to our username edit text. So that when the user focuses on our edit text, at least one character has to be entered in the field. Otherwise, we should issue an error and warn them that the edit text shouldn't be empty. To do this, inside the main activity class, I'm going to create an object from the text input layout class. I type text input layout and I name my object, for example, user layout. Now inside the onCreate method, I'm going to connect my object. After user, I type user layout equals, I cast it to text input layout, Find view by ID. Inside the parentheses, I enter r.id.username underscore text input layout. And semicolon. Now I'm going to use the set unfocus change listener method. I type user dot set unfocus change listener. And inside the parentheses, I type new unfocus change listener. You see that the unfocus change method was added to our class. When the user focuses on the edit text, the code inside this method is executed as we explained in detail in the previous lecture. Now for the required fields, I'm going to define a condition. So that if our username edit text was empty, then issue an error. And we also define a message for the error. Otherwise, we won't need to issue any errors. If user.getText.toString is empty, which means if our username edit text was empty, then execute the code inside this block. Else run the alternative block. Inside my if block, I type user layout dot set error enable. I set its value to true, which means issue an error to the user if the edit text was empty. I also type user layout dot set error. Inside the parentheses, I enter double quotes with this text. Please enter your username. So if it was empty, then issue an error with this message. You can enter here your desired message. Otherwise, I type user layout dot set error enabled and I set its value to false, which means that we don't need to issue any error to the user. Now, if we run our project on the emulator, as soon as we focus on the edit text for username, we must see the message, please enter your username.
I run my project on the emulator. Alright, our application is running. I focus on the username edit text and yes, as you can see, as soon as we focus on our username edit text, the color of the edit text is changed to red and below that the error message that we have defined is displayed. Now we must do something to remove the message as soon as we enter a character in the field. But you see that it is still there. Okay, I stop my emulator. After the method set on focus change listener, I type user dot, then I use the method add text changed listener, new text watcher. In the previous lectures, we explained this method as well. Okay, we don't need to do anything about the methods before text changed and after text changed, but the method on text changed. We said that as we enter a character inside the edit text, the code inside this method is executed. So very easily, I copied the if statement that I had defined inside the onFocusChange method and I pasted it inside the onTextChange method. So now we have defined two conditions, one for when we focus on our edit text and one for when we enter some character inside the edit text. I run my project on the emulator. Alright, our app was launched successfully on the emulator. I focus on my edit text and the message asks for username. I enter for example Udemy. Yes, you see that the error message for the edit text is gone. Again, if I empty my edit text, the error message will be displayed. It tells me that I have to enter some characters and at least one character has to be entered in the field. This time I type for example Android. And that's it for the discussion of required fields. In the next lecture, we'll learn about the character counter feature in edit text. So take care.